Dentistry from the Heart, and it's a national nonprofit dedicated to relieving tooth troubles. For one day at a local office, people can get dental work done for free. Let's go to Brittany Price. She has your look around Lubbock. Hey, Brittany. Good morning. Well, that event is happening this Saturday. It's their fourth annual Dentistry from the Heart. They're the only dental office in Lubbock that participates in the national nonprofit. And before that event, we're learning a little bit about some dental hygiene tips. I'm here um, learning more about the brushing. Um, what do people need to know? Um, you need to know that you need to brush twice a day, morning and night. Um, it's really important to brush at night before you go to bed. Make sure all those germs and bugs are off of your teeth before you go to sleep. Um, an electric toothbrush is going to clean your teeth a lot better than just a regular toothbrush. And what you want to do is kind of angle the toothbrush so that the bristles go inside of your gums. You want to kind of brush in circles and then brush that stuff out from underneath your gums. Because that plaque, which is just food and bacteria, collects right around your gum line. So you want to focus more on your gums rather than just your teeth. And I don't think a lot of people know that. I mean, I think it's more, I know a lot of kids I see going back and forth, mm -hmm. and it's really important to get that circular motion. Yes. How much pressure should you apply? Uh, very little. You want to make sure you um, only use a soft bristle toothbrush. Never go harder than soft. And um, use really light pressure. The um, newer electric toothbrushes, they have pressure sensitivity, so if you're brushing too hard, it kind of backs off so you're not causing any damage to your teeth. That's great. Now, moving on to flossing, what do people need to know? I know this is something that a lot of people kind of forego or forget right. about. Um, we just recommend flossing just at least once a day. If you do more than that, great, but um, you want to do it at night, of course, um, before you brush your teeth. It pulls everything out from in between your teeth, and then your toothbrush can go by and sweep it up. You just want to take some floss with your middle fingers and your thumbs and kind of pull it to the ends and then just kind of wrap it around your middle fingers like that. And then you want to use your index fingers and your thumbs. Take the floss and try to make a C or a U shape on both sides of your teeth and you want to go up and down. You don't want to go back and forth, okay? And make sure you're going up underneath your gums. A lot of people just stop right at your gums, but you want to go underneath and go as far down as it will let you. Now, if people experience bleeding or sensitivity, that's a sign maybe you have some gum problems. That is correct. Mm -hmm. um, you definitely need to get to the dentist and have your teeth checked out and see what's going on. All right. Well, thank you very, very much. Okay. Dentistry from the Heart, thanks for the tips. Is happening this Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Now, they normally, they are expected to see at least 125 people. Um, you don't need to bring any of your medical records and you don't need insurance. It's really available for anyone and you can get a free extraction or a free filling. Back to you.